you're going to try to find the threshold angle, right? Or critical angle, right? So this object is supposed to slide, but it doesn't. Why it doesn't? Because the friction. Friction is stopping it from sliding. Now, would the friction always be able to stop it from sliding? Well, no. Look. So now, which one is the threshold angle? No, not that one, not this one. So this is kind of trial and error, right? Trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Okay, we don't want to do trial and error. We want to use the math to find the threshold angle. So let's do the math. In this tutorial, we're going to derive the equation for a threshold angle. Uh, let's consider a box. Let's say 10 kilogram. Mu S is let's say 0 0.4. Mu K is 0 0.3. Acceleration due to gravity negative 9.8 meter per second is squared. I will not give you the angle. You have to find the angle. This is called threshold angle. Okay. What would be the angle that will uh, allow the box sliding on this incline and that's the threshold angle or critical angle okay all right um so the first thing we're going to do we're going to draw the two uh, vector we're going to call it ff and we're going to call it fg parallel of course you're going to set ff is equal to fg parallel fg parallel you also can think of this as the applied force. Why is that? Because FG perpendicular does not contribute to the acceleration. Only FG parallel does contribute to the acceleration. Therefore, you can think of this FG parallel as applied force. And what do you know about uh, force of friction? Force of friction is mu S Fn. Why not mu K? Is because we are trying to find the maximum friction possible so mu s therefore and this is of course f mg sine theta we proved that yesterday and this is mu s mg cosine theta is equal to mg sine theta mg mg cancel so mu s is equal to sine theta over cosine theta okay now uh, let's uh, Prove something, uh, and that is this. Uh, this is unit circle. We're going to cut unit circle in four quadrant, and this is uh, radius. We're going to call it R. Uh, this is two dimension, so uh, two values makes a point. We're going to call x comma y, and we're going to prove that x is cosine, y is sine. Uh, we're going to call this one y because uh, this is uh, the y component of x and y coordinate and we're going to call this one x so you have a right angle triangle and this is the angle and r is one because this is unit circle okay so so katoa is going to give you what so ka toa sine theta is equal to opposite is y our hypotenuse is R, so R. Cosine theta is, cosine theta is Jason, Jason is X, and hypotenuse is R. And tangent theta is, uh, we're gonna write tangent theta here, tangent theta is, opposite is Y, and Jason is X. What do we know about uh, our R, R is 1, so sine is Y, R is 1, so cosine is X, okay, so you're going to replace Y by sine, because Y is sine, you're going to replace X by cosine, because X is cosine, all right, now finally we can replace sine over cosine by tangent, Okay, so what is our threshold angle? Tangent mu s. So our threshold angle is uh, tangent 
0 0.4. So this is 21.8 degree, of course. So if you, if the angle is uh, 21.7 degree, then friction will be able to stop the sliding. However, if angle is more than 21.8, maybe 21.9, then the friction will be will not uh, uh, be able to uh, stop the sliding. Okay, so let's uh, solve the problem. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you two cases: the case number one on the top and case number one on the bottom. Uh, maybe I'll erase this. You don't need to see this anymore. Uh, So we have like 10 minutes. Case number one, you have a box, 10 kilogram. <clears throat> mu K is 0.3, mu S is 0.4. This is 10 kilogram. All right, and you're gonna have to find this. Uh, applied force is uh, less than 39. Newton and 40 Newton. Okay, so this is what you want to find. You want to find weight. You want to find F normal. You want to find FF. You want to find F net. You want to find acceleration and velocity at two seconds. Okay, so first thing fast, you're going to have to find the maximum static friction possible. So me uh, FF is FS and FK. So this one is maximum static friction possible, which is uh, what is it? Mu S F. We often write equal sign. This is actually uh, less than or equal to. All right. So what is mu S? Mu S is 0.4. F and E is let's fill this in. So this is 98. So 10 times 9.8, 98. And this is also 98. This is also 98. This is 98. You just gonna take the absolute value. The force of friction, let's see. This is 98. Uh, the maximum friction possible, I think, is 39.2. Uh, let's check it. Uh, 0.4 times 98, and that is 39.2. And this one is uh, mu k fn. And that would be 0.3 times 98. Okay, and that is 29.4. Okay, is 39. Okay, so we're gonna see that 39 is less than 39.2. Okay, so would the friction be able to stop the body from sliding? Yes. Okay, so this is 39. Okay, all right, so 39 minus 39 is zero. If net force is zero, acceleration has to be zero. Without acceleration, you cannot have velocity. In this context, all right. Is 40 bigger than 39.2? Yes, it is. If 40 is bigger than 39.2, then friction cannot stop sliding. That means sliding with 29.4. Uh, so, well, the friction is 29.4. So the net is, uh, I believe, 10.6. Uh, 10.6. So it's 1.06. Uh, 1.06 at 2 seconds is like about 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, velocity. Okay, now we're going to create the friction graph for this one. We're going to call FA. We're going to call FF. And this is our friction graph. We're going to call 0 over here and 39.2 over here and what over here? 29.4 over here. So this is Fs less than or equal to mu S Fn. This is the general case. And this one we're going to call Fk is mu K Fn. All right. So this is done. This one was the easy one. Now let's see the little bit interesting one. Little bit interesting one. We're gonna use the same thing. It's probably wood on wood, but check out your reference table. So we're gonna say this box is on an incline. 
we don't know what is the angle however you have to find everything and the degree I'm going to use is 21 and 22 all right you're going to find the weight you're going to find the F G parallel you're going to find the F G perpendicular you're going to find the F normal you're going to find the F F you want to find the F net you want to find the acceleration you want to find the velocity at two seconds okay now 21 is less than threshold uh, recall uh, in the beginning of the video we proved that the threshold is threshold angle is 21.8 so 21 is less than 21.8. What does that mean? Yes, friction can stop the sliding. Okay, good. So what is FG? This is still 10 kilogram. FG is 98. FG parallel, don't never forget that FG parallel is, FG parallel is MG sine theta. So 98 uh, sine 21. So 98 sine 21, 35.12. So this is 35.12. Uh, this is uh, cosine 21 FG perpendicular is MG cosine, uh, cosine 21. So 98 cosine 21 and that is 91.5 91.5 f normal okay f normal is also 91.5 ff is going to be 35.12 okay you can think that this is as applied force f net is zero acceleration is zero velocity is zero great I'm going to do the 22. 22 is bigger than the threshold. What does that mean? That means the box will be able to slide. That means the friction won't be able to stop the box from sliding. Okay, great. So this is 98, which is the width. And then this is mg sine 22. So 98 uh, sine 22. And that is FG parallel. 98 sine 22, and that would be 36.7. And then other one is FG perpendicular is 98 cosine 22. So 98 cosine 22, and that would be 90.86. Ninety point eight six. This is also ninety point eight six. Now, force of friction, since twenty two is bigger than twenty one point eight, uh, the friction cannot stop the box. So, this jumps from static friction. It falls from static friction to kinetic friction. So, what is the kinetic friction? Kinetic friction is mu k f n. So, mu k is point three. Fn is what? Fn is the threshold angle, uh, or angle 22. So what is it? Mg, which is 98, uh, cosine 22. So 98 cosine 22 times 0.3, and that is 27.3. 27.3. So 27.3. Uh, 36.7 minus 27.3 and that gives you 9.4 so this is 0.94 all right so this is 0.94 times 2 and that is 1.9 now let's quickly do the friction graph all right so the friction graph you have applied force and you have force of friction this is zero and this is the threshold friction is mg cosine 21.8 uh, and this is mu s so 98 
cosine 21.8 times 0.4 that is 36.4 so this is 36.4 this is 0 this is 36.4 this is f and this one is uh, mu k 98 cosine well any degree any degree is more than 21.8 will do the job I don't know um, let's say we gonna do 22 okay so yeah you can write 27.3 all right okay so that's the thing uh, good news today you got the Einstein thank you to the school um, uh, for for buying the Einstein's past uh, for for us so that we can keep inspiring you to become the next Einstein. See you Monday.